Hey everybody, it's Patty with Get Press with Patty. Just wanted to go over with you my January 10th budget tracker form, which is the second week in January. And I know it's a little late here on Sunday, but I wanted to show you it anyways and go over where we stand going into our third week of my budget. So I use the budget by paycheck method for both my paycheck. This is my paycheck that comes in weekly. I get paid usually Wednesday or Thursday. And then my husband is self-employed, but now gets a paycheck every two weeks. So I did that family fixed budget already in another video. You can go back and watch that. His paycheck for the most part covers the mortgage and a few miscellaneous house bills, fixed bills. My weekly paycheck covers everything else, which includes variable expenses, groceries, gas, household, etc. For the new year, right now for January, I'm saving my sinking funds and any savings challenges that I want to do for the month till the end of the month when I get my side hustle money, then I will put, take some of that money and put it into the sinking funds and savings challenges. So far, so good. I'm still waiting on a couple paychecks that are a couple months late, um, but I'm trying not to spend from that, that account until the end of the month. We'll see how I do. Let's just go in right into the paycheck. Unfortunately, I had a negative 116.63 going into this paycheck. My paycheck was 754, and then I had um, extra childcare hours of $264. So the total was 901.63. I put $50 automatically toward a cushion. I like to try to build that up to $200 on a monthly basis. I didn't pay anything on my PayPal credit card. I paid $140 to our car insurance. $65 on our Lowe's credit card. I have to get dog food for our pup and some little toys for him. So from Chewy, that was $52.14. And then uh, I owed my child care worker ending January 5th, $117. This week was a little higher. It was about $261 because Grace was sick for three days and um, my friend stayed with her. But we paid her 161 from the joint, and then I'll catch up the rest on this week's paycheck. And then $65 is an automatic transfer that goes into an Alley online savings account. $40 goes to our hot tub payment, and $25 goes into a savings. So let's add up what that was. Uh, 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 uh. 48914 uh, from 63 41249 Now I have been sick with a cough and cold for about a week so there was a lot of expenses going on this weekend for some cough medicine so um, let's see what we have here groceries we did some groceries the other day was fifty three fifty four. Gas in my car was forty dollars. Then we went to um, Shaw's last night for an additional twenty five eighty six. That's also grocery. Um, ba -ba -ba. Walgreens we had twenty five seventy one uh, yesterday, and then another seventeen thirty four today. The subscribe and save. I know I already. I'm going to put that on our tracker here. So let's see what that was again. So we have two things coming out tomorrow for uh, subscribe and save. So that's $33.99. And that will be it. But I was telling, I reviewed our budget with my husband yesterday. So it was a really good conversation. And, um, I don't know, just because we were sick and we kept like every every day we we're like oh man we forgot the bleach oh man we forgot this 196.44 so this all right minus 412.49 is 216.05 so that 216.05 will just carry into the following week um it's not really a zero based budget at this point i just like to have a carry over so that if something comes in, you know, it's not, you know, I don't have to worry about it. 
So we'll see what happens. Um, that is my paycheck here. So in the seven by nine Erin Condren, what I did today was just update our spending on the calendar to so kind of see that, you know, this little shopping bag means household and I kind of did a lot of household shopping in the last couple of days. So I did not like that, to be honest. So I just did a weekly check-in. I used to keep a weekly check-in all the time and I haven't done it for a few months, but I am going to start doing it now. So, <coughs> excuse me. So for week one, we're budgeting $400 for the month of January for groceries. So for week one, we spent $49.14, which carry over $350.86 to this second week. For dine out, we're bu we budgeted $350. The first week, we spent $30.40, which left $319.60 into the second week. And for household, we're budgeting $250. The first week, we spent $76.84, with remaining of $173.16. All right, and now this is the second week. Of groceries, we spent seventy nine forty this past week, so we have two seventy one forty six going into this third week. The dinah we didn't spend any, so we're three one nine sixty into the third week, and then household we had one seventy three sixteen left, and we spent one thirty one seventeen, so we only have forty one ninety nine going into this third week. Hopefully, we don't need any other household items. Again, a lot of that is because that one thirty one was cough medicine that I bought both at Walgreens and then at Amazon. And then the Amazon subscribe and save for Gracie's wipes. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like that is really high for our household. Oh, we needed bleach, stuff, you know. So we'll probably have to up that 250, I think next month. But hopefully whatever is left over for the month, the 41.99 should last us the next two weeks without us having to really go over that. I hope. That's the goal. Um, so that's my weekly check-in, and that is my budget for the January 10th paycheck. I will get paid again on Wednesday, and I will um, go ahead and show you what that paycheck looks like on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye now.